Welcome everyone, and I think this is officially the Series 1, uh, Episode 1 of Blogger Talk, the proper tutorial. So, quite excited to get going. Generally, I am, so let's get stuck in. Hopefully, you would have seen the precursor, which was the inspect element. And let's get started now. Because it's the first one, a couple of new things to show you. One is what's coming up in this episode. And that is, you can see I've arranged a slide here, and there's two versions of this. So on the right-hand side, we have got what websites we're looking at in this session, and underneath the ideas, which is to inspect three websites, to learn some column widths, look at some images, and really get good at it. So um, already, this is going to be the slide for the finished video, because you can identify it. And going back to the simple version, which is, it's really here for my aims and objectives so I get things done. So at the end of this session, we're going to inspect three websites, learn common widths, images, and get good at it. So if you want to tell me whether you like this one the best or that one the best or that style the best, that, that's, that's a version of um, learning because we're on a journey together uh, to learn. So let's get started straight away. So in this one, we're going to be talking about a website. And the first thing you can see, mine what's in Kenilworth, and we can see that if we, and I'm just going to page down a couple of goes, one, two, three, four, five, and it just keeps going on forever, so I'm not going to bore you with that. What I am going to do is say, if you are here, and you're wondering about starting a blog yourself, say with Blogger, I don't really care what it is, but you know I'm using Blogger, then what has someone else done before you. So I'm going to have a quick look at this one, then I'm going to go over to Michelle's website, have a look at that, and then I'm going to have a look at a really hard one to look at, which is the L'Oreal uh, Paris site. So what did we say? Column widths and images, didn't we? So here I'm going to, I'm just pausing, and you can see that my pointer is somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to right click and inspect element. Remember, if I go too quick, just rewind the video, watch it again. In Chrome, Inspect Element, it opens up and it tells me straight away, and I'm just going to bring this down on the, uh, so I can see my website. There it is. So the goal here is to find out what column width I have used. So do it again. Right click, Inspect Element, and you can see that there is a big blue box over there. And if I put my mouse in the coding part at the bottom, it tells me that I've used 580. This is huge news because if you get an image that doesn't line correctly you're going to know, want to know why and I'm going to tell you why and um, you can see that mine is 580 everybody gets this thing on the right hand side which is a little bit tricky so for an example I use a left column and a right column and this one you can see is 280 so I'm just going to hover around in there I can't really move my mouse but on the top right because uh, I'll lose the focus of it it's 280 wide. Those are quite important um, because if things go wrong you want to know what you're using and if you can copy somebody else's then that's cool. So with my website I've used a banner, an image banner at the top. Now it looks like it's three different images but it actually isn't. So if I inspect the image I've got 900 by 209 which is my one banner that I've created that um, in some other photo software and then shoved it in here. Banners will be coming up in a couple of future episodes and I'm literally going to work from the top of my website down. So with that one you can see that if I hover with my mouse you can see on the bottom left hand side there's a tiny little pop-up that says 900 by 209. So if you see a website you like do this inspect element malarkey and then come along and um, you know copy it. Not exactly copy it but you just get the idea don't we? Anything that you like like if you see someone's pair of shoes or something you think oh they're really nice you say where, where did you buy them and um, you know, you, you not exactly copy them, you know, it's just as old as the day is long. So um, that's about a picture. Let me do one more picture because I want to get on to some more interesting websites. So this is a blog post I made the other day. Let me just come out of that because I'm going to use this inspect element all day long uh, with you. And so I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but I'm more interested in looking at some of the elements. So let, let's say, for an example, this one here, good example, where I've done a blog post, created a little collage, and if you're wondering what that thing is, you can click on it, and okay, sure, it opens up in a light box, which Blogger does for you, but again, if I right-clicked and went to Inspect Element, then it would tell us that 
the image that we've got here, let's just hover down, is 330 by 311 in that example. There is another one we can do here is if you click onto uh, resources, somebody's moved it, that was the second one in before, doesn't matter, resources, frames, what's in Kenilworth, which is the name of this website, then go down the bottom a bit and it will say images. And when you click images, every single image, and you can just use your up and down arrows, will click through, you can see a bunch of whatever is on this website, and sometimes there's loads of them. You, you can just be nosy as much as you want and go through it still. Do you know what? I'm gonna stop this and go over to Michelle's. So Michelle Farn, awesome, awesome YouTuber, five and a half million followers and all that stuff. Now, forget the code, forget the computers, and just look at what you see. It is a white background. It's got a picture here of looks like some arrows, so let's see if that is a scrolling banner. Okay, that's fine. When I say fine, I'm just looking at the moment. Does it make sense to me? Can I read it? I'm, I'm huffing and puffing here because, you know, Michelle is about a million times awesome than I am. But the point is, if you go down and you can see that it looks like there's some semi... I'm just going to do this one quickly. There's an element here which is an image. And you can see it's a 300 by 250 image. That's all I need to do at the moment. Come out of that. And I'll tell you why I've highlighted the one I've highlighted. There it is. Now, really rich um, lipstick photograph here. But for me, when the moment I first saw it, and it wasn't today, it was a couple of days ago when I was looking around, and I, th I just thought there's something not quite going on okay with it. So first of all, you see that the element here is... 300 by 250 which they all are but if I click through and I will to the actual blog post my, my guess and I, I, I don't actually know Michelle personally but I don't think this is a blogger website it looks like WordPress or something but I'm, I'm really guessing um, this is the blog post itself if you look up the top here is michellefarn.com beauty school the anti blah -de blah at the top now this is the bit that I'm interested in to say okay how does this look on the page Beauty School, the anti-feather in lipstick. Look at the font. Do you like it? Is it readable? These are the sort of judgments I want to make, really. Feather-proof lipstick trick, fine. Big, big picture of, does it actually do anything? If I click it, look, nothing happens. If I look at the element itself, like the image on the page, then it goes to a lot, lot bigger look, 550 by 745. Yeah, look, it says WP Contents, which is you'd Word, WordPress there. Any sites I do look at like this, um, I will give credit to all those people to advertise them. So she's got... This is the thing where, you know, we've got to do these videos together and say to ourselves, okay, what's going on here? I've got Beauty School, the anti-feathering lipstick trick. That's fine. Posted my shell last month or so. I've got a massive image which doesn't do anything, does it, if I click it. Then I go down to hi everyone, so I'm, I'm using, so look at how much of the page has been used by just that image. I mean, I love the image, it's a great image, but hi everyone. So this is another one which is really interesting because if you look, and you look at that font there, now for Michelle, who's super fashionable, brilliant person, it's a surprise, and I'm just gonna go down the right hand side to look for the font. Um, where is it? Where is it? Sometimes these can be a bit tricky that you're messing around looking for things. That's not it. Um, I think I've actually passed it. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time on that because I know that it's a computed. Can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down here. Look. Um, font fonts. It just says serif, doesn't it? But I don't think it's the right font for the website. These are big judgments if you're designing something. I'm not a big designer, but look at it. There's something not right with it. Okay, fine. I've looked at this and I've said, this is one website. Who am I to say? I'm a nobody. Let's go over to the third and last. And this is uh, one of the L'Oreal Paris sites. Now, I'm no web designer, but I'm just looking at it. Now, look at this. I've got, I've, we've got a very skinny L'Oreal at the top and a bunch of things along the top with text. Then we've got a black and a menu. And I've got this scrolling thing going on. And I'm going to have to drag down and see what else is going on. 
But by this stage, you can look at things. You can say, okay, this is a good example. I've got three images here, left to right. Are they one image or are they three images? Now, they do click through to something. If I wanted to inspect them to see what's going on in there, then I could see that I have got one. Yeah, look, I thought as much. That's a single. Then if I've got this one, I can right-click on that and inspect that one. Okay, fine. Let's just see as a matter of interest if I do click it, whether it opens up somewhere. Because part of these things are all put together. It's, doing anything. it's not doing anything. I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Okay, so that's one tiny last thing, and then I'll finish here because I've probably gone on too long. Is this L'Oreal site has, and I've just done site colon, 2,340 results in there. Okay, I think uh, let's go back down to our objectives again. So in this episode... I want to finish now is to say that we looked at inspection. We looked at uh, my website, Michelle's, and the L'Oreal site. We tried to have a look at these ideas where looking to see if we could learn column widths, images, and get good at it. So these were just a couple of things. If you haven't seen the first video, then go back to see what Inspect the Element was all about. So hope you enjoyed that. See you in episode two. Thank you for being here.